We've got updates on the hottest hip hop and R&B concerts. Doja Cat says she's done making music that's sellable. Jason Aldean's music video gets pulled from the air. French Montana teaches us his favorite slang. We get astrological with Lauren Gray. And we've got a major Latin Music Week announcement. We've got a jam-packed show for you today. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's Wednesday, July 19th, and let me start by giving you a hip-hop and R&B headline roundup. Doja Cat is committed to not making commercial music. Usher needs to be careful serenading Quavo's girlfriend. And YG and Sweetie are taking their rumored relationship on the road. Let's talk about our superstars of hip-hop and R&B. Usher got in a lot of trouble after a viral clip with Kiki Palmer caused drama with her and her baby daddy. So when Quavo and his reported new boo, gymnast Erica Fontaine, went to his Vegas residency, Usher was careful. And speaking of Quavo's ex, Sweetie is rumored to have moved on with YG. And after being spotted in LA holding hands, they are making some big professional moves. They are joining Tyga on the Straight to the Club Tour, playing 14 arena shows starting September 21st. Look at me, look at me. You looking? My taste good, but I just had to redirect my cooking. And after releasing attention, Doja is doubling down on her sound. In a new cover story for V Magazine, she stated, I've been making music that's palatable, marketable, and sellable. These upcoming projects are going to be very different. I am excited. I do not care if people are not. Fair warning, our next story is pretty upsetting, but we have to tell you the latest on Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean's new music video gets pulled from the air, and Sheryl Crow steps into the chat. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool, act a fool if you like. Jason Aldean's new song, Try That in a Small Town, has been labeled by many online as racist. The lyrics and imagery hearken to themes of sunset towns, all white towns of the segregation era in the United States. Got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're gonna round up. Even part of the music video was shot in front of a courthouse in Columbia, Tennessee, a location well known for being the site of a lynching of a black man in the 1920s. With the combination of the violent lyrics and racist imagery, CMT removed the music video from their rotation. The network declined to comment on their decision. But Aldean took to Instagram to address it, saying in part, In the past 24 hours, I've been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song. There is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it, and there isn't a single clip that isn't real news footage. He went on to point out that he was present for the Route 91 mass shooting in Las Vegas and does not want to see any more senseless headlines or families ripped apart. Aldine's wife came to his defense accusing the media of twisting the narrative. She's no stranger to controversy. She got called out for transphobic comments in the past that led to a feud with Marin Morris, which birthed the nickname Insurrection Barbie. But she's not the only one speaking on the video. Sheryl Crow tweeted, I'm from a small town. Even people in small towns are sick of violence. There's nothing small town or American about promoting violence. You should know that better than anyone having survived a mass shooting. This is not American or small town like. It's just lame. Listen, I'm from a small town, and I wouldn't go near anybody blasting this song in their pickup truck. But what do you think of this one? Let me know in the comments. Let's lighten the mood. French Montana just taught us some really useful slang, especially after that last story. What up, what up? It's your boy Moroccan Montana today, and this is my three Moroccan slang. That means fuck off. Sir Tqawud. That means go fuck yourself. That means dickhead. <laughs> Shout out to all my Moroccans. Respectfully. <laughs> Thank you so much for Fridge. I needed that. Now there's a lot going on in the stars right now. I don't know much about that, but our very own Billboard News producer slash astrologer Evan Berg does. And he sat down with singer and social media sensation Lauren Gray to read her birth card. 
You have another really great aspect that I really love. You have Jupiter on your ascendant. It's conjunct. That means it's right on top of it. I get drawn immediately to the thought of like, you're come up on social media at such a young age. That's Jupiter, the expansion, and your image just growing. Wow. What was it like growing up and having the spotlight thrusted on you? I was just getting my feelings out and, and sort of turning to this creative outlet. And I didn't even know you could be famous on social media. Yeah. Two months before I started um, posting, I was in the car with my mom, I remember exactly where we were, and I said, I never want to be famous. I, I do not want people in my business. And my mom said, it's gonna happen. It did happen a couple months after that conversation. I felt more comfortable there than I did in my personal life. Well, that's the Mercury and Venus and that 11th house of your audience and your the bigger collective. For the full episode of Reading the Stars, head to billboard.com. Our annual Latin Music Week is right around the corner. I can't wait for Miami, and we are excited to announce this year's star-studded lineup. Take a look. Tickets are on sale now, so grab yours soon. And that's today's show. Hope it was entertaining and educational. Come back tomorrow to learn more about Jason Mraz, and we look back at 2016's biggest songs of the summer. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.